Okay, so in this first session I'm going to show you how to set up Scratch and how to create the keys for your keyboard. So you can see how I'm already signed in and I'm just going to go to here. You can see I've got all my stuff and all I have to do um, is go across actually to create and it will load up the editor. Now that the editor is loaded, the first thing we have to do is get rid of the sprite that currently exists in here. There's a couple of ways we can do that. We can right click and delete, or we can just use the scissors and click on him here. So I'm just going to right click, or secondary click, and delete the cat. What I'm now going to do in new sprite here, we've got some options. We can choose one from the library, or we can choose to paint one. So I'm going to paint one, and it goes into this view. Now, the the moment it's in bitmap view, we want to switch into vector mode. So down here, look, we've got this convert to vector button. So I need to click that. And now I'm going to create a simple piano key. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and draw a simple shape like so. You can see that's a little bit big for my screen. This is where it will display. So I'm just going to use the key here and just resize it a little bit. And OK, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill it with a colour. So I'm going to get my paint bucket and I'm going to swap the black and the white around and just fill. So that's the white part of the key. And I want to make this look nice like a real piano key. So I'm just going to put a black overlay on it. And it's not exactly like that, but it just gives a sense that it's like a piano key. And the quickest way to do that is to get the select tool, click, copy and paste, and put that down. And then I'm just going to swap the colours now and fill that with black. And then go back to the select one, I'm just going to resize that and put it over the top like that. And like I say, I mean, it's just kind of a rough idea of what a key looks like. It doesn't have to be super accurate. Now, the last thing I want to do is get the uh, center of the key, just because it makes it look nice. So I'm going to put that in the center, like so, and that's my key done and ready to go. I'm not going to make the other keys yet because we're going to add some scripts to this and then duplicate it. And that's how we make the keys for your keyboard.